goodness. Look at that crew. I guess that Alright, just hopped off of my first Google Meet of the day. Today has been interesting so far. I woke up really early at 6 because I needed to get a workout in by, I needed to like work out and be showered by 7.30. And so we did that. And then I hurried, showered, hopped on to my computer to go into three hours of interviews to find out they were all canceled last night at like 11 p.m. Oh, my camera's like slowly falling. So it was kind of annoying because I didn't think to check this morning at 6 a.m. because I checked last night before bed and it was fine. Um, but yeah, so whatever, it got me up and moving. And then I had kind of a more leisurely start to my day. I spent some time listening to every morning our church does live worship. One of the worship leaders from one of our campuses goes live on Facebook and plays worship music. This is falling again. Oh my gosh. Okay, hopefully it'll stay now. Anyways, I watched live worship. Then I watched our Sunday church service because I missed that on Sunday because we were doing Mother's Day stuff and we just didn't, it didn't dawn on us. And then I worked on coaching stuff. I went live in my Facebook group to talk about a new program I'm launching on Monday and just some other general housekeeping stuff like that. Now I just got off of a second grade call. Later I have a third grade call and a kindergarten call. And then way later this evening, I am meeting up with my small group. So small group is like a group that was developed through my church. So we all met through the church. Um, I met one of the two of them on a trip to Nicaragua on a teacher's mission trip and one of them um, is one of their friends that we've become associated with and we meet as a small group usually every single week during normal non-COVID times we have been meeting virtually but not like as consistently as we did before COVID and the stay home order in Ohio was lifted last week it was changed to a stay safe Ohio so now we're allowed to gather in groups of 10 they're slowly opening retail retail opened yesterday yesterday restaurants with patios open this week salons open this week and then rest indoor restaurants with no patios open like next week so I'm not rushing to do that stuff but I feel good meeting with my small group we're gonna go sit outside in someone's backyard so we're not even going into her house or anything we're all bringing our own chairs and gonna sit spaced out but it'll just be so nice to have actual in-person community for the first time in what feels like forever the only people i've seen so far are brandon and then my mom came over for mother's day which was a couple days ago um and yeah that's pretty much been it so it'll be crazy to actually see friends i guess i've seen a couple people from school um but from a distance because i had to go into school twice and each time there were people there but we weren't spending time talking and stuff. we just like hi how are you good bye okay way to go um, so I'm really excited to go over my friend's house tonight or over her backyard, I guess, and just catch up and uh, just hang out. The girls, the girl whose house I'm going to is actually a teacher in my school district in a neighborhood building like I am. So we have a lot in common. So we always have lots to chat about. And she actually was the person who was leading my equity as a mindset professional development that I took for five weeks that just finished up this week. So we might talk about some of the stuff that came up in that too, but I'm just excited. It's going to be a good day. I've decided. And I'm actually, I don't know if I want to make food now or wait till after third grade. Are you hungry, Brian? Right now? Yeah. Uh, Would you rather eat now or at like 1230? 1230 for sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so third grade, 1230. Actually, you know what we could do, Brandon? What? At like 130, we could get Chipotle because my dad gave us a gift card. Does Chipotle what? sound good? Okay, I'm going to take that as a yes. Um, so I'm going to get Chipotle. Yeah, thanks, Dad, for the gift card. Thanks, Mom, for the money. Cheers, Mom, for the... Here's my afternoon snack. Cheers, Mom, for the money. <laughs> Britta and I really love TikTok these days. We just... You know what I really love? The fact that we sit two feet from each other for like 12 hours a day. <laughs> I know. <laughs> We're literally like this all day. Can you say a prayer for us? I can, I can reach her. So Ow! You like hit my glasses into my face. Oh, my fake glasses. <laughs> These are not fake. They're blue light blocking. What do you want me to go blind from the blue light I'm taking in? You're gonna go blind from that ring light in front of your head before the computer. 
mean? I think the ring light um, actually gives me serotonin or whatever that's called. You know how they say you should buy like lights for your room? I think that helps me. Who says that? <laughs> someone says it. For sure, someone oh says God. it. I have a little bit of time before my next Google Meet, so I'm going to respond to messages that I've gotten from my students on Schoology and comments on my school YouTube channel. This is really close to my face. <laughs> About to do just a wee bit of makeup since I'm seeing my friends later. I've been not using face makeup as much as possible because it's just good to let your skin breathe. So why not? My skin's been pretty good too, so I haven't really needed to cover up much. I am putting on this um, under my eye. It's called like No More Under Eye. What is it called? No More Baggage is what it's called by Dr. Brandt. Just doing some of that. Literally doing like a four step <laughs> makeup routine right now. And I'm going to put on a little tiny thin 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 layer of magnetic eyeliner even though I'm using the magnetic lashes where there's two of them and they click together. But I have found that if I use the magnetic liner just a little bit, it helps the top lash line up better. A little thicker than I would have wanted, but it is what it is. Another thin layer on the other side. Yeah, that one. I like this one better than that one. But, mm, I'm gonna have to make this one a little bit thicker. To match. There we go. <sighs> then I'm gonna put on mascara. I have no lash extensions anymore. They all fell out. The la there was one little guy who was hanging on for dear life till yesterday and he finally fell off. So my lash extensions lasted about six weeks although around week four I was missing a lot of them already or they were on the verge of coming out and my lash lady technically salons are allowed to open up this weekend um but she's waiting a little bit longer which is totally fine with me because in the salon that she's at that i've been going to they built her a little room so now she's going to be separate from like the hairstylist which is good because it was really loud in there and that's fine for getting your hair done but for like getting your lashes done it's such a like intricate um activity for the artist so it's good she'll be able to like be more focused and stuff but the best part about her having her own room is that it has a separate entry so i won't have to walk into the salon and be around all the other people getting their hair done and stuff so all i'm gonna see is her and she said she's going to make, she has like all these new things she's going to be doing. She's going to have us wait in the car until she texts us to come in. So we're not like waiting there um, within proximity of other people. And she's going to take our temperature when we get there to make sure we're not pulling her chain. And obviously she's asking people to be honest about if they have been around anyone who's sick. But she's really trying to take all the protocols she can. So when I can get my lashes done, I'm going to. Because I want to keep supporting her and her business. And she's really taking all the protocols possible. Um, and I'm also going to get my nails done this weekend. Because my nail salon opened up. That, I'm not as sure about. I'm not sure how they are practicing. They said that they would get me more information like closer to Saturday because they're really not opening up till Friday. So they're still trying to like get all their eggs in the row. But that was a Mother's Day gift to my mom, Manny Petties. So I'm excited about that. But if I feel like they aren't, you know, trying to stay clean and stuff, then I just won't go through with the appointment. But depending on what they tell me they're doing to practice, you know, social distancing and all that stuff. I have seen some of the nail salons around here. They've put up like plexiglass between you and the artist. Um, and once again, I just really want to support their business because I've been going there for so long, like years now. And it's a family owned establishment. And I just really don't want this to like make their business suffer. I don't know if I can, if I feel healthy about it, if I feel like it's a good choice, then I'm gonna go. I mean, I'll obviously have a mask on, but I just wanna support them. And I guess I could just, if I go and it's like not 
up to what I would want to do. I'm just going to buy gift cards and stuff so I can still support them. And then I'll obviously use them in the future when I feel better about it. But I'm hoping that they have good guidelines for social distancing and everything so that I can go and get my nails done, which is one of my favorite pastimes, <laughs> and treat my mom to a mani-pedi. But if not, we'll just end up, you know, doing gift cards to support them anyways because I just would hate for this to affect their business i think they they were closed this whole time obviously because salons were so hopefully they were able to get one of the small business grants but either way i want to show them my support so i'll be doing that this weekend either buying gift cards or going to actually get my nails done i would love to get my nails done though so hopefully i feel good about what they're doing but i definitely feel good about all the things that my lash artist has put in place like she is not playing around so hopefully my nail people are the same so all i did was magnetic lashes um, did my eyebrows a little bit and just eyebrow gel, mascara, and that's it. That's all we're doing, so pretty underwhelming get ready with me right here. Just ordered our Chipotle with our gift card. That didn't last long, literally opened it today. <laughs> and we are using the whole thing today. I'm so excited. I get a chicken salad. I usually order a burrito bowl and ask for a salad dressing on the side, but it's easier to order online and just get the salad. So I get a chicken salad with guacamole, salsa, corn salsa, um, the salad dressing on the side, and brown rice, and then a side of chips and guac. And Brandon gets like a double wrapped steak burrito and chips and salsa. But yeah, super excited for that. Gonna pick that up after my, I have a third grade call and then a, yeah, just a third grade call, and then once that's done, I'll go pick up the Chipotle, and then I will eat it, and then I have a kindergarten call, and then nothing until I leave for my friends. But I'm probably gonna work on coaching between those things too, just to be productive. But I have 15 minutes before the third grade call, and I'm feeling a little like all over the place, so I am going to play a game, <laughs> my favorite game that I downloaded yesterday. Sudoku on my iPad it like it is so fun it times me and it only can make three mistakes and I'm obsessed with it so I'm gonna play some Sudoku while I wait for this call to start that was thrilling the first puzzle took 12 minutes the second puzzle took three minutes I did a medium and then an easy and it was very thrilling I didn't do great on the medium it told me I only was better than 50% of people but the easy one I was better than 89% of people so that is pretty thrilling all right here we go third grade so what, what I'm saying to you is all of my stuff is up in Schoology 2. We have one more week left on the virtual talent show. And there's been a lot more kids adding stuff this week. So if you haven't checked it, then go check it. That's, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Fabulous. And now it's time to get focused in. Yeah, that's about it for me. One more week left on that. Sorry vlog, I forgot to take you on my adventure. But secure the Chipotle and picked up iced coffees. Bruiser's so excited. Secured the bag. Nope, he just farted. Oh. <laughs> yes! Yagaragararoon! Oh. oh my gosh. That food was so good, and the episode of Survivor was crazy. I'm like oh, so hyped up. So hyped. Okay, time for kindergarten. Okay, I'm getting on kindergarten. Be quiet. Hi, Ryan. Hey, hey. Miss you remember? <laughs> 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 well, I just enjoyed my relaxing time after my calls. Cheryl, Cheryl stopped by. No, you missed her if she hasn't been in the vlogs in a long time because she had to bring by my camping chair so that I can socially distance with my friends tonight. And she has a job over here tonight because she got a new job and so tonight she's kind of testing it out for the second time and hopefully it goes well it probably won't because she's really bad at her job so <laughs> our hopes are low um but who knows maybe it will go well who are you talking to <laughs> the vlog <laughs> youtube your mom is mean. She's talking to the dogs Sorry, now. Your mom is mean. <laughs>
All right, I'm at my friend Nicole's house. I've never been to her house before, so this is exciting, even though I'm probably not gonna go in anyways, but I get to know where it is at least. It's actually really close to where I grew up, so that's kind of cool. But yeah, I don't know if I'm going to check in after this or not. So I'm just gonna close out the vlog right here and say thank you for watching. Hopefully this was entertaining enough. I know these days are kind of really boring, but maybe it made you distracted. I don't know. It helped distract you for just a little bit. I don't know. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. It's a free way to help me out. And be sure to subscribe so you see the rest of my vlogs. I hope you're having a fabulous day wherever you are.